Whiskey is very cold in space. Imagine being aboard the International Space Station conducting experiments that could lead to incredible discoveries. For example, what does scotch whiskey taste like after being aged in microgravity? That's actually a real experiment, which is weird, right? I mean, it still takes a lot of money and effort to send stuff up into space. Why waste it on an experiment about scotch? Is it just to create the world's most expensive, exclusive alcohol? Well, it turns out the experiment provided some really interesting data. It all started in 2012 when a container holding Ardbeg distillate, the stuff that becomes Ardbeg single malt scotch whiskey was sent to the ISS. A low earth orbit research company called Nanorax LLC packaged the distillate in special tubes that also contained oak shavings to approximate a whiskey barrel. A control sample in its own space tube with oak shavings was kept here on Earth. The space distillate spent 971 days in orbit, aging into space whiskey. It's not like the astronauts were partying with this stuff, it actually stayed put in its container. It returned to Earth last September. Chemically, the space whiskey and the control sample were pretty similar until it came down to the flavors the whiskey pulled out of the oak. The control sample showed much higher levels of those chemicals, leading to the conclusion that microgravity inhibits the extraction process. And yes, space whiskey tastes different than earth whiskey. Okay, but why does this matter? Well, we already knew that stuff tastes different in space, but we don't know why. We have some clues. When you're in space, blood redistributes in your body, and you'll end up feeling like you have a stuffy head, which impacts your sense of smell and of taste. But this experiment also shows that the processes involved in flavor chemicals forming in the first place could be inhibited by microgravity. And if you're planning a long space voyage or a lunar colony, that could end up being a big impact on morale. We might need to develop new processes and packaging to make space meals palatable for long missions. So here's to you, space whiskey scientists. Salut! I do not have a glass. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Also, you should subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss what's going on right now.